In this short video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the basics of the IF function in Microsoft Excel. And for me, this is a really exciting topic. I love using the IF function. And the reason it's exciting for me is because the IF function allows us, as Excel users, to basically put in some programming into our Excel spreadsheets. Now, it's not exactly programming, but it is quite similar to some simple programming. So let's jump right in to looking at the basics of the IF function in Excel. Now what I have here is a simple spreadsheet that lists the results of the National Spanish exam for my students. Now obviously these aren't really my students names. These are not really their scores. I'm aware of student privacy laws and I would not put my real students names and scores in a YouTube video. But let's say that these were my real students. I would like to be able to see not just the raw score that each student got, but I would also like to know whether they passed or failed just by looking here at this column. And there's a couple of different ways that we could do this, but the if function in Excel is one of my favorites. So let's look at how to do that. What I can do is just click on this cell, let's say cell D3. This is where I would like it to report whether Tom passed or failed with his score of 94. Once I'm on the cell, I can just type equals to begin writing a formula. Then I type if, and the reason I said that this is kind of like programming an Excel spreadsheet is because it reminds me of my days of learning basic. I don't know if anyone else learned to program in basic as a young person in school, but I did, and I remember the if then statement. Statements. If then statements are a very important part of programming. So if this is true, then do this. That's what we're going to create here, an if then statement. So equals if, then I put in a left parenthesis, and as soon as I do that, look, Excel gives me some tips and some hints to help me to successfully complete this formula. This is a feature in modern versions of Excel where it kind of coaches you and helps you and it's really nice to have that reminder. So equals if left parenthesis and then I'm going to click on cell C3 because this is what I want to test. I want to test if Tom's score was greater than a certain amount. So I'll click on Tom's score but notice instead of putting 94 here it just puts the cell C3 and that's exactly what I want. So equals if left parenthesis C3 is greater than, and I just type greater than in there, and then I put in the cutoff point for pass or fail. Let's say for this test, 69% means fail, 70% means pass. Let's just say in this case that that's true. Now I have to put the then portion of this formula in. Now if I type then, it's not gonna work. When you're writing a formula using the if function, then is denoted by the first comma. So the first comma that you type in the formula represents then. So here, again, I'm repeating myself a lot, but let's go through this. If C3 is greater than 69, then, that's what I have written here, I want to print the word pass. And by print, I don't mean print it out on a printer. I just mean print it on the screen. And so to do that, to say that you want to print, you put in quotation marks. So there's the first quote, and I did put a space there. So I put space, left quotation mark, and then I'll type the word pass, and then quotation mark. Now my second comma represents if not, or if false, is how they say it here. So if C3 is greater than 69, then print pass. If not, then print fail. Now I need to put my close quote there, and then I'm supposed to put the right parenthesis right there. But if you forget to do that, it's fine. It'll work anyway. But you cannot forget this close quote. Okay, let's see if it worked. I'm gonna hit enter on the keyboard or return, and it worked. My formula with the if function worked. It can tell that Tom passed. Now, here we go. I need to type that all over again for Susan, for Alyssa, for Shauna, for Kevin. This is going to take all night. No, actually, I don't have to do that. If you've watched my other tutorials, you know that I can use the autofill handle to save me a lot of time. So I'm going to click here on Pass, and then I'm going to go to the lower right corner. And if I put my mouse just exactly on that little green square, then the mouse pointer changes to a black plus sign. And that means I'm about to use the autofill handle, which in this case will copy whatever is in this cell. Okay, so here we go. Now you're probably thinking it's just going to copy the word pass all the way down, but no, that's not how it works. It's going to copy whatever is in this cell, and the word pass is not really in this cell. Look, you can see up here what's actually in the cell. That's what's going to get copied, the formula. So I'm going to click and drag and release, 
And look, it tells me exactly who passed and who failed based on the criteria that I put into the if formula. Okay, so there you have the basics of using the if function in Excel. There's a lot more that you can do with it, but this will help you get started, I hope. I hope that you'll continue on and watch my other Excel videos. I have several video tutorials about Microsoft Excel that I think you'll enjoy. And if you did enjoy this, please click the like button below this video. And please consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday.